Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today we will be talking about the lore of Alicia Online. Everything we know and the mysteries of Alicia. Please keep in mind that I translated a lot of things with a website translator in this video. Therefore, some things may not be translated perfectly. When comparing my translations to other texts though that were translated previously, I can tell that my translations are mostly correct, but some things might be a bit off, like names and such things. Anyway, let's get right into the video. Remember to comment, like, and subscribe, and yeah, let's get into the video. Let's start by looking at the map. On the map, we can see different regions on the continent of Alicia. So the whole landmass is called Alicia. On this continent, there is the meadow, forest, city, desert, and snowstorm. When we translate these um, individually, we can actually see that there are names for these areas. Dran, Fare, Dorf, Tibia, and Pregria. The first region I'll be talking about is Dran. Dran makes up the meadow maps in Alicia, which includes the sheep farm, Lee Bianco village, Amos city, or Amos city, uh, Phoebe fields, market street, uh, Sylph hills, and Sylph slope. Where exactly these are on the map is hard to tell, but I would guess the borders of this region are roughly here. I would guess that market street is a part of Amos city, as Amos is described to be famous for its huge market and known for having everything you can need. So it makes sense that market street is a part of this big market. For the other tracks, I would say they all are farms or small villages that are dotted across the land or routes between the villages or just is a meadow. I would also say that the player's ranch is located in Dran. The landscape of it fits in with the other maps in this area. You could arguably say you can see Sheep's Farm from the ranch. The people of Dran are mainly farmers, probably traveling to Amis City to sell their goods at the market. There are also cowboys in the west of Dran. Uh, this is just a theory of mine, but I would guess that Ali the Alicia Horse Club is also located in Dran. The Alicia Horse Club is a group of riders that are known to be the best jockeys in Alicia. They're also the ones that raise and sell the horses in the shop. The next region is the forest region, Fare. I would guess the border of this region would be around here. This area includes Cullen Falls, Hose Forest, I'm probably saying that wrong, Granto Canyon, and Woolen Forest. These tracks are known for being dangerous and are popular with daring racers. We don't know a lot about Fare, but we do know that the people had forest rangers, called wood rangers or forest rangers. Fare is an interesting place because from what we can see, there are no people living here. Everywhere we can go in Fare is ruins. It is unclear whether the civilization of Fare is still around or not. What happened to them? There is no way to know for sure, but I have a few theories. One theory is that the people of Fare have moved to a new forest. We can see in the south of the map there are forests with buildings. This could be where the people of Fare are living today. Another reason to believe they are still around is that we can buy their clothes and build forest houses in the ranch. How could we know what their clothes and houses looked like as the civilization is described as ancient? We also know that the forest rangers could be just a name for their knights as other regions have different names for their knights as well. Why would there be a name for the current knights if they weren't around? A reason to believe they are gone, however, is that pretty much everything else to do with them is ancient technology and we have no idea how that would work. The people of Alicia have no idea what to do with this ancient technology. How could they not remember how their own technology worked if they're still around? Why would they have to move in the first place? I have a theory to explain both these points, but I'll talk about it when I talk about how the technology works later. The next region is the city of Dorf. Dorf is the big city in Alicia, and I'm guessing it is the capital of Alicia. It contains Silurion Coast, Dorf Harbor, and Trading Port. These are all parts of the one city of Dorf. I would guess that the city of Dorf is this area here. Lots of walks of life live or travel through Dorf. First, we have the royalty. It is fair to believe that there is a monarch that rules over all of Alicia, as there is a big ass castle in Dorf. There is also an outfit that is described to be worn by the royals. Who is the ruler though? 
I have no idea. There is no talk about it or depiction of them anywhere. But moving on, there are also nobles and knights. The knights are called the Crystal Knights. Thomas says that he used to be a knight in that he had a lifetime at adventures. From this, I would guess that the knights are trained up in Dorf and then are sent around Alicia to keep order and guard stuff and just do general knight things. Dorf also has street racers, which I would guess are just jockeys that primarily race in the city. They also have this grunge type aesthetic. With the harbor there, there are also sailors and pirates that I'm sure come through Dorf. When you look at the map, you can see how the sailors are actually a big part of Alicia, as in order to get to the desert races, you'd have to sail across the ocean. You'd also be bringing your horse with you, and seeing as there's no planes, nor can your horse really fly that far, you'd need a big ass boat, and those are only found in Dorf. There are also mentions of sailors that race between the two land masses, uh, which would probably be a pretty good game in itself. With sailors, there's no doubt pirates that are also on the seas, trying to steal anything valuable from the ships going between Dorf and the desert. Those knights seem pretty handy now. Also, we know that mimics are thought to be summoned from treasure ships, which could be a nod to pirates. There are also mentions of someone who is a professional when it comes to crystals uh, that are mentioned in the quests. I'll explain more in detail, but I also think there are wizards in Dorf. When looking at some of the Alicia 2.0 files, we can see a character icon for a witch. My theory is that the professional Juna talks to about the crystals is actually this character. The next region is the desert region, called Tibia. This includes Atkins Desert and Khalid Town. I think that the borders of this region would be somewhere around here. The people who live here have colorful villages in the extreme heat. I think the reason why there's only one village we know of in this area is probably because of the much more extreme weather. We know that there are nobility that live in Tibia, but there's no evidence of another ruler. I would guess that the nobles that are here are under the king who is based in Dorf. They are just in charge of the lands in Tibia. There are also desert dancers and possibly fortune tellers that live here. Another thing that can be found in Alicia 2.0 files is that there are also sand rays in the desert. Whether they would fly or somehow swim through the sand uh, is unknown, but it'd be very interesting to see. Next is Pregria. I don't know how to pronounce that. I think that's how you pronounce it. I'm not entirely sure. Pregria, uh, the snowstorm region. When I was trying to figure out the name of this area, I came across different variations of this name, but I'm pretty sure this is the name for it as when looking through the Alicia 2.0 files, um, the abbreviation or the shortened name for this place is PGRI. So Pregria does fit into that. Um, this region also just has one map that is Leah Village. I think the borders of this region are roughly um, here. Because we only have one map, we really don't know a lot about Pregria. Most of the information that we can find comes from the clothes found in the shop. From these, we know that there are Vikings and that they also have warriors called the Pregria Rangers. It is said that this is a name they use for their knights. This makes me think that Pregria is also under the king and has knights sent over from Dorf or at least has people trained in Dorf and then sent back to be knights there. It also mentions that they can make cloth using magic. They also have divine metal that is only found in the area. The people in this area are probably good with magic, no doubt, and are good at making armor and clothes for the cold climate. Maybe this is where the majority of the wizards in Alicia go to train or come from. Now those are all the regions that we know about, but what about the rest of the map? Most of it we know nothing about, but there are two places that we have some information on. In the bottom right, we can see what looks like an active volcano. We actually know that they were planning on adding races in this area back in Alicia 2.0 as we have lava eggs and concept art. We also know that this area possibly would have been named Etna. This could have been a code name, however, as it's used in the 2.0 files where Tibia was referred to as Tabby and Pregria was known as PGRI. This also just could have been a placeholder name as Etna is actually a real volcano in Italy. 
What would have lived there and what the maps would have looked like, though, remains to be a mystery. If you look at the top right, you can see a floating island. Now, this would have been a very interesting place to have racing maps on, though there's no evidence that they were ever planning on making maps on this area. This island is never spoke about in dialogue or any of the sort. We do have descriptions of a mysterious land in the east on some clothing, however. These clothes are all in eastern style clothing anyway, but if we look closely at the island, we can see what looks like a tower in the Japanese style architecture. I think it would be safe to assume that the mysterious land that they're talking about is actually this floating island. What we can find out from these descriptions is that this place could be called Rivzaria. But this could be way off as translating names are always dodgy. Because it's described as a mysterious land multiple times, this could only mean that the island is most likely cut off from the rest of Alicia. Which makes sense, I mean, it would be a tricky thing to get off of the island or get back onto it once you get down. You can tell from the shadow that it does look quite high up. From the descriptions, we know that Rosaria had cadets, assassins, and a ruler or a government of some sort. As an overview for all of the people in Alicia, I think that there are a lot of travelers and that the culture is very market-based, seeing how in almost every map there's a market. Also, the, to the people of Alicia, horses are very important. Horse racing and watching horse races are a big deal, and people pay a lot of attention to those who win. Also, in every town, or in loads of towns at least, they set up areas specifically for horse racing, so it makes sense that horses would be very important to this culture. I would also guess that the people think that horses are sacred, as it's mentioned early in the game that a god, a god named Kyle blessed all the horses, giving them wings. Now this is very confusing. There's a god? Like, I've tried to look everywhere for a depiction of this god, but there's literally like hardly any. There is a mention of a monastery in the south of Dran, so there could still be worship of this god. When I was trying to find out more about this god, I tried to look if there's any a depiction of what it might have looked like. I first drew my attention to this banner um, that's in the items menu because it reminded me of the biblically accurate angels, if you know what those look like. I also found this banner in the breeding barn thinking it could be a depiction of the god blessing the horses, um, but I knew this was a long shot. The odds of this actually being what this is, is um, uh, yeah, not likely. <laughs> It is just a circle, so <laughs> I turn my attention instead to the maps that we know are very old, like the ruins in Farre. I found some old face carvings, but I didn't think it could link me to anything. I also found the bunny symbols in these rocks as well, but I didn't think there was anything of it. But when I went to Calitown, I saw this. Another rabbit. That's when I started thinking. Is the god's physical form a rabbit? Then I remembered we know of a rabbit that looks like a rabbit, but isn't actually a rabbit at all. Now you're probably thinking, Ruffy, did you seriously just suggest that Stato is the god of Alicia? Well, now that's just a theory. <laughs> uh, so who knows? Anyway, I couldn't find out much about the god, but it's interesting to know that there is a god that was like, yo, what's up? blessed some horses, and then left. Now to finally talk about the technology in Alicia. So from my research, crystals are the basis for everything, technological and magical. Crystals come from underground, as we can see them poking out from the ground, and in the quest where we have to find crystals, it is explained that they are found on racetracks as the land is being worn away by the racers. Also, pretty much every magical thing that we know about in AO comes from crystals. You can build buildings with crystals, instant row elixirs and crystal disinfectants are made from crystals. Also, crystals power the incubator, presumably the wind accelerators, and I would also think the portals as they have crystals on them. We can also see that crystals are mainly used for lights and mills in most cities. So I think it's safe to assume that anything that is made from magic equals it's made from crystals. 
But when it's talked about in the quest, it's said that crystals are ancient and no one really knows how to use them. Take the crystals we find in the quest. They're called the seed crystal fragments and they come from the legendary seed crystal. What the seed crystal is and what it was capable of when it was whole is never revealed. Even the professional that Juna consulted when finding information about the crystals wasn't sure about the true power of the seed crystal fragments. The professional talked about having to do more experiments on the crystals just to find out what it's truly, truly capable of. Also, if you look in the description of the seed uh, fragments, they had to put metal on the crystal just to contain its power. But crystals are everywhere in Alicia, and it makes me ask, how did people forget how to use crystals when this technology is seemingly everywhere? Well, <laughs> believe it or not, I have a theory. Stato's ancestors are described to have built the overcubes. The overcubes are this ancient technology, and no one seems to know how to use them as well. This point also kind of supports the case that Stato, or at least Stato's race, is god or demigods of a sort. Anyway, Stato's race is smart, but they are also extremely money-driven. It being said that they even take apart technologies that their ancestors made just to make a profit. How could they have been so technologically advanced, seemingly really caring about developing their technology, only to now only want money? Well, here is my theory. What if crystals are toxic in big doses? What if being around crystals, like big crystals for a really long time, does something to your mind? Perhaps this is the reason why rabbits are so money driven now. For some reason, their ancestors being around and working with crystals for so long, it caused them to lose some intelligence and shift their priorities, shifting them from making them want to develop technology to them making wanting to make money this actually also explains the appearance of the Faray. Faray is covered in crystals what if the people of Faray noticed the crystals were having effects on them and decided to move to a new forest where there's much less crystals this is my theory we'll most likely never know why the things are the way they are but this is just what i came up with now let's move to the characters who live in the ranch with the player. Thomas is the first introduced to us. We learn pretty early on that Thomas and the player's grandfather, who's called Aiden, used to be knights together and that Thomas used to be a racer as well. After years of adventures, they decided to spend their days raising horses and they built the ranch together, which I'm sure was very platonic. <laughs> Just you and your bro settling down together and building a ranch together. Nothing gay about that. Anyway, because we've never seen Aiden, we would assume that he's dead. But actually, Aiden, your grandfather, is alive, and we are told that he will return to the ranch one day. Where he is now, why he left, and when he'll return are all mysteries. Juna is a volunteer at the ranch, and I assume she's from the city as she has friends there, and she visits the city regularly. She prefers caring for the horses rather than riding them, and she loves seeing the bond between a horse and its rider. Juna is also able to sense the aura of crystals, uh, while others seemingly can't or just don't take interest to. Why she has this ability, I have no idea, but it's most likely just a way to get the player to go collect crystals for the, for the quest. Oh, and Juna also hates snakes. April is like Stato in the way that she looks like a regular pig, but is most likely a whole different species. She has wings on her ears that lets her glide, but not for very long as her wings are quite small. April talks about being sad that she isn't able to fly like horses can. And then there's Stato, which I've already talked about him before, but some other stuff about him is that he's introduced as being an expert at building and fixing things, but we never really see him do this. Because when later, when we were able to build houses in the ranch, it's Juna showing us how to build these buildings with crystals, and Stato isn't involved at all. Now, where does the player fit into all of this? When the player arrives at the ranch, we only recently... They are said to only recently start riding horses. You get a letter from Thomas saying everything is set for you to take ownership of the ranch. My theory is that the player is a knight and just got out of training when they arrived to the ranch. I think this 
I think it would make more sense to assume that the player is a part of the Alicia Horse Club, but if you look in training, it calls the racers computer-controlled knights, meaning that the people we race against are knights, which makes the player a knight. Alicia has a lot of pretty lazy knights, seeing as all we do is race and breed horses all day. Now, there are some little mysteries that I thought I'd bring up that I found when looking for all this information. One thing is that fairies are said to live in the deep parts of the forest, presumably where we haven't been before. It's only mentioned once when describing this shirt, but I thought it was interesting that there might be fairies in Alicia. Another thing is that we have a vampire outfit. This could confirm that there are vampires in Alicia, but it's described to be based off a story about vampires, so I would think that they are in Alicia. There is a sign, is a sign, however, in Leah Village that could be a symbol of vampires. This sign could also be evidence of why players can have horns on their heads, or this could be a weird deer. I don't know. This is this sign is interesting. <laughs> Another thing is that this outfit is described to be a Livian folk outfit. Where Livian is is a complete mystery. I think this is most likely a translation problem where this could have actually said Alicia or Dran or something of the sort. Or it could possibly mean that there is an old name for Alicia as Livian could be a word for like ancient Alicia. Like there's Britannia for Old Britain. I'm pretty sure. Um, but that's just a theory, though. Ah, but yes, that is everything. I hope you all enjoyed this video. That is all of the allure I could bring up, I could dig up from Alicia online. There's actually a lot more than I assumed, um, especially when I was first getting to this. But yeah, what do you guys think? And what are your guys' theories about all this stuff that I can't explain or isn't explained? Let me know in the comments. I love to have a discussion about this. Anyways, guys, take care, y'all. Thank you so much for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see y'all later. Bye, guys.